when you have all these nice selections at an AYC buffet, you know you're gonna have a pretty rockin' time. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And today I am out here in Los Angeles in North Hollywood because I'm gonna be checking out one of the most unique spots that you can find in town. Behind me is Aki Shabu. This is the only Shabu Shabu and Hot Pot restaurant that you're gonna find in North Hollywood. It is an all-you-can-eat buffet. They got seafood, they got beef, they even got sushi. So if you like all that, then I encourage you, stick all the way to the end of this video because I'm gonna show you this amazing spread here at one of the best Asian all-you-can-eat experiences that you can find here at Aki Shabu. And also, if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because it posts these food and travel videos weekly you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be heading over to Aki Shabu. They just opened, let's eat. Aki Shabu has been here in this neighborhood for about four years. It runs for $42.99 a person. Now, as you can tell, it's not exactly the cheapest all you can eat around, but you do get some pretty good stuff, like you get some good seafood selections, as well as American Wagyu beef. So if you guys are newbies to Shabu Shabu, doesn't matter if it's all you can eat or a la carte, this is usually how it works. So step one, put the veggies in, and they even tell you how long to cook these veggies for. That's actually helpful to me too, and I've been at it for quite some time. Step two, cook the meat, sing the song and it's ready to eat. Okay, that's kind of a new thing. And then step three, dip meat and veggies in your sauce and enjoy. Ask about our awesome sauce. I surely will. Step four, noodles are last. So they even tell you when to put the noodles in and how long to cook those noodles for. And finally, step five, drink the broth. Oh, especially good on a cold day. So it looks like up here at the buffet station, you got over 25 selections, although there are more from the kitchen that you can order. And it's a good thing that they do label these things so you know exactly what you're getting, such as shrimp, all in that ice, and some lobster ball. You see, we got the seafood thing going on already. And then some white fish, which is always good with shabu shabu. And that one is crab. Ooh, pretty fancy. You see, you can get crab too. And then down here, we have squid. You guys like squid? I do. And also, green mussel. Ooh, look how big that green mussel is. Let me see if I can grab the tongs. Yep, I see it right there. And then down here, we got crab sticks. And up there, beef tripe. All right, a lot of selections, as you guys can see. A jalapeno and some of this lime and some what is that i think that's like fish cake yes and then down here is kimchi yeah some of that korean influence too and up here another fancy seafood we got some crawfish good stuff and then we got some white onion and breadsticks oh i think these are kind of like those chinese style donuts even more stuff we got some fresh tofu and then that up there is fried tofu. I think they need to kind of refill this a little bit. And mushrooms, like American style mushrooms, as well as your Asian shiitake mushroom, carrots, and they're all cut up, very convenient. And down there is cilantro, as well as kabocha, good stuff. And down here, we got some spinach, it looks like, as well as some American broccoli and bean sprouts. Yeah, it looks like these, this is like the veggie section. And some Napa cabbage. And then down here, we have noodles. They call this ramen noodles. Cooks for only one minute. And then they also have mung bean noodles. Okay, I wonder if that's right. So this one cooks for about six minutes. And that one is udon noodle. And down here, rice noodles. Wow, you got quite a number of noodle selections. So this is more that's on the menu. So it's not just a buffet station. I'm gonna repeat once again, $42.99 a person. Includes everything such as appetizers, veggies. So, ooh, even ice cream, that's awesome. So you do have to pick your soup bases. 
They got a lot of really cool soup bases. I don't even know which one to pick. See, there's the sushi. What did I tell you? You got a lot of sushi rolls, like California, spicy tuna, even crispy rice with spicy tuna. Ooh. Another thing you're gonna notice about this restaurant is all of this hand-drawn artwork. It's like everywhere in this restaurant, even above the buffet station. Isn't that pretty cool? And I do want to mention that they have another Akishabu location in Koreatown. So if you're more in that direction in downtown LA, then that's the one I think you got to go to. And then down here, it looks like this is where you grab all your different plates. Oh, wow. They're very nice plates. Look at this, guys. I think shrimp is always good to get for hot pot. So let's do it. And why not? I'll get some of this white fish too. I like fish. Uh, bro, I'm gonna get this for sure. Look at that, these are crabs. You gotta get your money's worth here, right? If you guys wanna see how to make the house special sauce, this is how you do it. It's a little bit of chili oil. And uh, if you want the spicy and salty, little bit soy. Okay, a little bit soy sauce. And double the panzu, that's the key. Oh, double the panzu, yes. Double the panzu. Okay, you guys paying attention? And full spoon of the goma. Full spoon of goma, which is sesame based. And then the key is a lot of garlic. A lot of garlic, yeah, for Onion. sure. Onions. And cilantro. Cilantro. Has to be have a lot of cilantro. Whoa. Wow, that looks so amazing. Yeah. Okay, don't forget, guys. So after some deliberation, I decided to get their creamy spicy soup, which I heard is their most popular one. So if you like it a little bit spicy, then this is the one you should get. You see how it's kind of milky, very soupy. What I really like about this is how this hot pot is inside of the table. You don't need to come here as a group. You can come here by yourself with your own little pot right here and you're good to go. And then when you're ready for this to start boiling, they do have this kind of like a remote control in the bottom. Let me see, how do you figure this out? So here's my beef for round number one. And I wanna tell you that this is not at the buffet station. You have to order this from the kitchen. So beginning with the Wagyu. This is not Japanese A5 Wagyu. So this is US grown Wagyu. Uh, however way you think about that, still it's better than your average beef cuts, right? And then that one is the Angus. And it doesn't look as marbled as this one. Well, obviously, right? But still, I'm gonna try it. And then that one is the ribeye. Okay, that definitely looks like a ribeye. Since some of this food takes a little bit of time, I do recommend that you throw in, uh, you know, like the veggies, for example, the Napa cabbage, because that takes a few minutes to cook. Just so that this won't be anticlimactic, I think what I'm gonna do is start with the less greatest beef going all the way to the greatest one. And I'm pretty sure you guys know which one is the greatest one, right? So yes, let's start with some of that Angus. And this one, I think will cook for only about 10 to 15 seconds. You see, it's done. Awesome, awesome. Yes, and don't forget, you gotta have your sauces too or else it's gonna be pretty bland. Ooh, that's good. So the goma, like I said, is the sesame-based one, but then if you add the ponzu, it sweetens it up and gives it more of like a citrusy flavor. I don't know if you guys like it sweet, but I don't mind. I think it tastes pretty good. Yeah, this is the one that I've been eating all my life whenever I go to these Shabu Shabu restaurants. So the ribeye kind of has a little bit of a fattier content that's inside, which if you like that, which I really do, then ribeye is definitely the one to get on the menu. I mean, there's really not a lot of beef choices you could get on the menu. And it's fine with me because I don't have to worry about which one to get. You know, pretty simple, right? Let's see what other treasures we got down there. What about some of that white fish? Yeah, I'm a fish type of person. Whoa, it's so hot. Oh, but it's really good though. It's like so soft. And for sure, you always gotta get your tofu with your meal. Oh, that one's so good. Woo, yeah, I should have gotten more tofu. Why did I only get two pieces? For sure, round number two, more tofu. Since this is a seafood house, obviously you got to eat your crabs too, right? You gotta suck it out just like that. Yeah, you're gonna taste some of that meat inside, but then I also taste a lot of that spicy creamy broth, which flavors this in a nice way, actually. 
If you guys like crab, then for sure, go up for like second, third, fourth rounds and get a lot of this crab. And gotta have some of that crawfish too, right? Look at this tiny thing, okay. That one's okay. Kind of tastes like the crawfish that I eat whenever I go to buffets or seafood boils. Not my favorite thing out of all the choices here because I'm more of a meat type of person. But if you like crawfish, then for sure you should get it. Now let's try some of that Wagyu beef. Yeah, definitely the best one here. This one is the most tender. Uh, the fattiest, it just feels so good in your mouth. Like when you eat shabu shabu or hot pot, you gotta have beef of this kind. And like I said, they do have some pretty popular appetizers on the menu, like the cheese wonton. Uh, this is something that I heard is very popular here. So let's give it a try. And then also spicy tuna over crispy rice or some version of it. So in case you guys are curious, they do have this other kitchen that's attached to Akishabu, which is Pho Ramen Plus. This is to go only. So you can do a lot of things to go, like they have ramen and even Pho, a lot of sushi rolls. So if you guys don't feel like eating the hot pot, but you want some Pho or some ramen, you can order it right next door, but you got to eat it to go. You can't eat it in here. That almost tastes like a cheesecake paste that's inside. But I do like it though, because I have kind of a sweet tooth. So just kind of imagine tasting a little bit of that cheesecake that's very uh, creamy inside of the cream wonton. Very crispy. But then you got this, which I didn't expect to find in this restaurant, the spicy tuna over crispy rice. Mmm. Wow, not bad. Okay, I didn't expect this. This is actually much better than I thought. It's as good as the spicy tuna over crispy rice I've had even in sushi restaurants, whoa. So this one is the crunchy roll and they do have a few rolls on the menu. This one is, uh, let's see, it looks like there's avocado imitation crab meat inside along with shrimp tempura, lots of sauce on top of it. Sushi here, the sushi roll is pretty solid. So if you end up getting this along with your shabu shabu items, you're gonna be pretty safe. And just letting you know that this place does get pretty busy at nighttime. Like I've heard stories where the line was like right out of the door and they were running out of foods. So if you wanna come when it's not quite as chaotic, it's during the weekdays, right when they open at 12 p.m. So yeah, come in here and a lot of free parking too. So don't worry. Uh, round number two, what should I get this time around? Maybe I'll try some of the mussels. Uh, more crabs, obviously. Ooh, I didn't see this the first time around. This is bok choy. Yeah, for sure you need this with your shabu shabu. And you will eventually run out of that broth, so ask for them to refill it when it gets low. Oh yeah, so here we go with round number two. That is the beef belly. And this is something you'll find in a lot of Korean barbecues as well. But here you boil it instead of barbecuing it. And for sure I had to get more of my wagyu beef. And that is the pork belly, very thinly sliced. So if you guys like pork, they got it on the menu. Since this is beef, the beef belly won't take that long to cook. So watch over it. Mm. Wow, that's so tender too. But I think the way this one differs from the other meats is that even though it's soft, it still kind of has like a chewiness to it. I mean, not a rubbery chewiness, a very nice chew to it. You know, it's just what makes it different because every beef kind of has like its own personality, right? When you bite into it. And also, you know guys, since the beef cooks in here, after a while, it really flavors the broth like so well. So it's, you're almost drinking like a beef soup. I still want to just drink the rest of that, like just as a soup. Okay, so the pork belly, you do have to cook this one all the way. So give it a little bit more time, maybe like a minute, I would say. What I've been noticing about all of these meats I've gotten is that it's pretty good because I've been to AYC hot pot restaurants where like the meat, I just thought it was just okay. I mean, it's just, you're just there because it's all you can eat. But 
The meats here are actually pretty enjoyable. I mean, still thinly cut, but tastes so good though. Just for the sake of trying as much as I can from the seafood section. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is not bad too. Kind of tastes like those green mussels that you would have if you go to those all-you-can-eat sushi restaurants. They don't have all that baked mayo on top, so you just take it out and I guess dip in the sauce. Makes it taste even better. Noodles, in it goes. Yeah, yeah, so I'm reaching towards the end. I guess when you're here, you cannot miss out on your noodles too. Look at that, wow. It is so steamy, so you gotta be careful when you eat this thing. Let it cool off a little bit maximize the use of that sauce because it's going to make it taste fantastic. I was right. That sauce makes any of this stuff taste so much better. I would say with the noodles, try to hold it all the way until the end because this is going to get you full pretty quickly. So you really want to concentrate on the meats, uh, the seafood, but noodles is definitely worth trying here. I mean, it's comfort food, tastes great. And then of course, more Wagyu beef. If that was the only beef I got for this entire meal, I would be pretty happy. You know, I've driven by this restaurant so many times in the last few years, but I've not had a chance to come in here to eat until today. And I should have come in sooner because the food here is pretty good. So yeah, if you are in North Hollywood or Anywhere close by, you gotta stop by here, especially if you love seafood, you love hot pot, you like buffets, because you're gonna have a pretty fun time here. I mean, look at this. They even house make their strawberry ice cream here. Isn't that pretty cool? So yes, there's a lot going for it here at this really awesome place, Aki Shabu in North Hollywood. So anyways, I'm gonna finish up here, but thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next food adventure.